What's up everybody, Dead Girl here. Today we are hunting for Halloween. And our first stop is gonna take us to the illustrious at home home goods store. Let's head in. They did have some stuff last time we were here. I'm hoping that they got some more goodies in, but uh, we're gonna check it out. Come with us. First stop, again, brings us to at home. We've got a couple of places that we're gonna stop at and hopefully we find some Halloween goodness. I will be playing some music over um, as we're kind of panning through the stuff inside is to avoid copyrights and I can see Halloween on, from here. And there's some air conditioning. was the perfect start to our Halloween hunting adventure today. As you can see, they got a ton more Halloween stuff. I love all the cute little skeleton. The skeleton bear is probably one of my favorite things. I love that they're doing all of the spooky and haunted houses. So that's really good. Make sure you check out your local at home stores. All right, gang, we've made it to Michael's. The last time we were here, they had a little bit of Halloween, not a lot. So I'm hoping that they've got more in store for us this time. Let's head in. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what they...
Michael's finally putting out more Halloween stuff. The spooky town stuff was amazingly cute. I absolutely adore it. It's one of my favorite things about Halloween time and decorations. Um, Michael's went very pastel with a lot of their Halloween stuff this year. It's not for me. I understand it's not meant to be for everybody. It's for those of you that love pastel. And, uh, you know, if you guys, if that's your vibe, Michael's has got all the goodies for you guys. Our hunt for Halloween stuff continues at Gifts and More, the paper store. We're going to head in. I hear they've got some spooky ornaments available just for Halloween. Let's go. Here's to hope and Gifts and More does not disappoint. They had some really cute Halloween ornaments. Um, the one that we were hunting for specifically is a little pumpkin with a headless horseman in it. JD and I have been collecting those um, since we first started dating. So we have them for every year. We're actually gonna run to a different store because this one was sold out of it. Um, they did have a display model, but they weren't selling it. It was on hold for people that had it on a wish list. So we found a location that did have it. We're gonna head there and grab it. Our next stop on hunting for Halloween brings us over here to Marshall's. Hopefully they've got some goodies. I've been some, seeing some stuff online, so fingers crossed. Marshall's, show us what you got. Our local marshals didn't have a whole lot of stuff. It looks like they just started getting in and putting out some Halloween items, but what they did had was kind of cute. Um, nothing that I wanted to pick up personally, but it was nice to see that Halloween is appearing in Marshalls. 
that's going to do it for our hunting for Halloween video. Now, I did forget to show you guys that we did find the ornament that we were looking for. Look how cute he is. Absolutely adore him. The little background, little headless horseman action riding his little, little pony. It's so stinking cute. This is going to go up with the rest of ours. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed hunting for Halloween. Thank you guys. Until next time, keep it spooky. Bye.